What up, y'all? This is Dominic369 coming back at you for Occultism Unleashed. I got a new astrology video for you guys today. Enjoy it and ask questions if you got them in the comments. What up, y'all? This is Dominic369 coming at you for Occultism Unleashed. It's Capricorn season. With the sun going into Capricorn, it brings our focus to patience and persistence. I need to take note of that myself. You know, it brings discipline and structure to whatever area in your chart is being highlighted by the sun. Again, we know that the sun is the planet of vitality. It increases the vi vital energy and sheds light on whatever house that it is in. With the sun going in Capricorn, it's important that you focus on your leadership skills. And part of being a good leader is being patient and being able to give good instructions without being calloused to the people who depend on you to lead them. You know, the sign of Capricorn usually doesn't have much emotional feedback to give. It's more strictly business and, and cut and dry. But this this is the, the weaker aspects of Capricorn. You know, when you when you really step into that true Capricorn energy, you understand that people have issues and life has circumstances and that everything can't be ran on a business model. As we reflect, you know, the United States has Capricorn on the second house of values and you see how cruel and compassionless they can be when it comes to other people. So, excuse me, it's important that you realize that those aren't the Capricorn characteristics that are going to bring you into power, or help you fully utilize that type of energy. You know, to really seize on the Capricorn's leadership power, you need to realize that once you are responsible, you're not just responsible for what a person, you know, is supposed to do, whatever you delegate it to people or whatever you delegate it to yourself. That responsibility also entails that you be considerate of how your duties are affecting the people that you're close to or that you're working with. So you have to seize upon your more, you know, feasible and practical state of mind that helps you really do things the, the right way instead of being real headstrong and it got to be my way and inflexible. These are some of the, the characteristics that Capricorn has that come from Saturn. Once you say it's like this, it has to be like this. But a good leader knows when to adapt, when to bring in the boundaries and when to push, push them out a little bit to make room and consideration for the people and situations that they're responsible for. If the, so if the sun is in Capricorn in your first house, you need to focus on, you know, how you present yourself and your self-expression. Make sure you're not being compassionless or lacking understanding, but also make sure that you have clear goals and, and clear established boundaries and what you expect from people. But just because those are your expectations, it doesn't mean that everyone is capable of meeting them. So know when to be flexible and when not to be flexible. You know, the second house, you're focused on your personal security, building, building up your, your wealth, whether it's material, spiritual, emotional resources. You know, you want to also put boundaries on how you allow those resources to be used by others. The third house, you're inspired to study, share ideas, feed your thirst for knowledge and give knowledge to others. But also you want to make sure that you have clear boundaries and a clear direction that you want to go to with the knowledge that you're acquiring and also not let knowledge outside of what you're seeking to interfere with you getting where you need to go. Capricorn sun in the fourth house, transiting through the fourth house, your focus is on family. You know, you're really getting to delegate and, and lay out ideas and, and information and taking what you what you have from your family and finding out what you can incorporate within your current lifestyle, you know, because a lot of things that we pick up from our family, it ain't useful in life. Sometimes it was meant to show us what we're not supposed to be doing. So Capricorn going through your fourth house is really going to give you the clarity you need to 
hash out some of the unnecessary shit and add some of the things that are necessary in order for you to structure your household and your family life in a way that's conducive to exhaling because the sign of Capricorn is about to come up, you know, making your mark on the world in the fifth house. You're looking to deal with your children and your short term term romantic partners. It's also going to bring some discipline if you're reckless and you're, you know, spending or, you know, going out partying or, you know, relationships where, where you're not gaining nothing. Capricorn, the sun in Capricorn hitting that house is going to help you draw back from that. It's also going to help you be aware of where you're not being emotionally connected, where you limit yourself from being emotionally connected to your kids or the person that you're, you're kicking it with. You know, it's going to highlight that area in the sixth house. It's going to affect your health. If you're working too hard, if you're not taking care of yourself, this Capricorn is going to break you down. It's going to break you down and make you sit the fuck back. Because that's what it does. It puts boundaries and limitations on us. You notice if you got Capricorn on the sixth house of health, you know, you might have issues with your teeth or bones right now. Problems with your joints, your knees. If you already had those problems, the sun going in the sixth house is telling you take your ass to a doctor that can can get you right. Change your dietary intake to focus more on calcium and things to help Build strong bones, exercise that loosen your joints like yoga. You know, this is an ancient tradition. Capricorn is a sign of old things. On the seventh house, you know, it has to do with your marriage and your partnerships. Are you being too callous? Are you being too strict and controlling? If so, you better tighten up because Capricorn sun going to bring the, bring the spotlight to that shit. Bring the spotlight to it and it's going to it's going to affect you and your relationship. So, you know, utilize that energy to fix what's wrong. Change it up. Loosen up boundaries or tighten up boundaries, whatever you need to do to keep your relationship intact and make sure that it remains healthy. It is also telling you, you know, focus on your lack of emotion and opening up to your significant other. The eighth house, it has to do with other people's money. Now, Capricorn rules real estate, too. It rules real estate and business. So if you're looking for business loans or investment opportunities, trying to grab up other properties, sun in the eighth house and Capricorn is a good time to do it, man. Banks and things like that are interested in giving you loans. So make sure your credit is intact. This is also a good time as the sun and Capricorn goes through your eighth house, a good time to, to clear up a lot of your debt and limit your spending on credit cards and things. In the ninth house, your focus is going to be on higher education, travel, studies, things of, of that nature. The ninth house, again, I tell you guys often that it's the house of hopes and wishes. Capricorn is the sign of work. Work diligently on the things that you hope and wish to, to achieve, not just in your faith, but in life. And Capricorn is going to pay, pay off, man. It's going to pay off. The sun in, that, in the ninth house in Capricorn is putting your focus, your focus, your attention, adding vitality and energy to these things. Take advantage of the opportunity. Capricorn, sun in the tenth house, that's boss dog because that's, that's the natural placement of Capricorn. It's going to help you make your mark on the world. But will you make your mark by taking advantage of not and not being considerate of other people and their needs? Is you achieving more important than everybody else? It shouldn't be because that's not a good leader. The sun and Capricorn in the 10th house transit is going to help you really evaluate how you lead and and how you use this energy to come up in the world, and if it's at the expense of others, Saturn is going to tap that ass. I guarantee it. In the 11th house, you're looking at your house of socialization. It may be time for you to fall back from some of the people that you that you hang out with and make clear boundaries. Because just because you hang out with somebody, don't make them your friend or make it a person that you want to talk all your business to and things like that. Boundaries. Boundaries in, in your social sphere. You know, 
really take into account that you need to have clear boundaries with the people that you you socialize with because those usually aren't your true friends. They're not people you can go to for advice or who you would really want to go to for advice because Capricorn on your 11th house, it makes those people you socialize with unempathetic. So you don't want to turn to them with your problems. The 12th house, Capricorn, you need to withdraw from the world. Take time to get yourself together. Start plotting and planning, taking the time to reflect on what you really want to do and who you really want to be. Because as the sun moves out of Capricorn into Aquarius, which is your first house, you're going to want to be out there socializing and networking. Use this information, compare it to your chart, see what planets the sun is going to hit on as it travels through Capricorn in your chart, and act accordingly. If you need help with that, feel free to book a reading, astrology reading on redclawconjure.com. Peace.